At the turn of the 20th century, the Ottoman Empire became a target. Russia, Great Britain and France sought to break it into pieces at the end of its 600-year existence. These external powers enlisted Armenian organizations, and their efforts ended in great tragedy. Armenians, particularly encouraged by the Russians, founded the Hunshak and Dashnak organizations beyond the Ottoman borders. These groups aimed to lay the foundation for the realization of the great Armenian dream by provoking a civil war centered in Anatolia. They relied on inciting open rebellions to trigger this war. They started locally, but soon progressed to larger scale schemes. The Dashnaks triggered the first rebellion on June 20th, 1890, in the city of Erzurum. The Hunchak followed, with the coordination of the Kumkape demonstration on July 15, 1890. Armenian rebellions ensued in wide-ranging areas of Anatolia, which ended with the loss of many innocent lives. In addition to these provocations, Hunchak and Dashnak distributed propaganda to foment a political crisis in the empire. The reason behind the consistent terrorizing was getting heard by the public. Dashnak and Hunchak intensified their efforts, for example, by ambushing important government officials. On July 21, 1905, they escalated again by attempting to assassinate Sultan Abdul Hamid II. Terrorist acts became more frequent during the First World War, which started in 1914. Armenians enlisted in the Ottoman army defected to Russia, providing it with intelligence and guides. Armenians caused the 1915 Van Rebellion, disrupting Ottoman supply chains and destroying strategically vital roads. The Russian army took advantage of this to raid numerous Ottoman cities. The Anatolian death toll was heavy. In all the Armenian uprisings, which endured through World War I until 1918, millions of Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Turkish, Kurdish, and Armenian Ottoman citizens were killed. Watch our videos for facts about Armenian history and issues. 